Hey, what's up? My name is Mark. Uh, welcome to the channel. So yesterday I received an update for my Samsung Note 10 Plus, uh, the Android 11 One UI 3.0. So today I'm going to share with you a comparison between One UI 2.5 and the One UI 3.0. Okay, so here's a brief rundown on most of the new features for the Android 11 One UI update, uh, specifically for Note 10 Plus. So I'll uh, also put a video of uh, One UI 2.5 on the left to show a comparison. Okay, so let's start with the lock screen. So the dynamic lock screen now has uh, more categories, uh, as you can see. So you can select more than one compared to the One UI 2.5 where you can only select just maybe just the landscape or maybe just life. Uh, but for One UI uh, 3.0, you can select more than one. And then the lock screen widgets uh, or the clock style uh, and others have also been improved. Uh, you can select uh, the color and uh, stuff. So uh, it's different uh, as well as the widgets. Uh, the face widgets are now just widgets. Uh, you can change it. Uh, it's a little bit different. And now there's also uh, the always on display. Uh, it was also, uh, the widgets have also been improved. Uh, there's animated uh, GIFs now, uh, different colors uh, there as you can see. So uh, you could also choose from your gallery or choose from themes. So it's very colorful, co colorful now for uh, the GIFs. Now for the home screen, you can now uh, double tap on empty uh, on an empty area to turn off the screen. So as you can see, there's double tap to turn on the screen and then double tap to turn off the screen. So this is a feature I really wanted to, to have. Uh, I installed a third party app uh, to, uh, to replace my power button. Now you can double tap it and it will lock your screen. Now the quick panel has also been revamped. Uh, you can see your conversations and the media uh, more conveniently, uh, the medias and the devices. And you can also, uh, just like a messenger, you can also put it uh, as a bubble. And then uh, there is uh, your uh, volume controls. It's now big. It's different. Uh, it reminds me of the different uh, OS as well. Uh, it really looks great with uh, the dark theme. And the Samsung keyboard settings are now uh, more accessible under uh, general management. Uh, the settings have been reorganized and you can directly get your Samsung keyboard on the general settings. And as you can see, the motion uh, gestures and the one-handed uh, varied a bit uh, the GOI or the interface was revamped a bit uh, the advanced features it's all there but uh, it looks uh, kind of different uh, you can still easily get the settings for the Samsung keyboard uh, in your uh, when you type a message or anything that as long as your keyboard is there Next would be our uh, Samsung DeX. Uh, it's still uh, wireless. Uh, if you've updated to 2.5, uh, it continues to 3.0 being a wireless connection. And then there's your internet browser. Uh, it has more features like blocking websites, uh, menus are being added. They say that uh, you can open a maximum of 99 tabs and you can hide the status bar. Uh, but uh, I saw that in 2.5, the hide status bar is already there. So, so the phone and contacts have been improved. 
you can see more options. Uh, you can merge contacts, duplicates uh, easily. And then uh, the trash has been extended to 30 days. And also the, uh, there's a new feature where uh, you can uh, add and customize your call screen. Uh, you can add uh, uh, an image or prep from your gallery or probably a different color. Uh, uh, it's a new uh, feature that isn't in uh, 2.5 and then you can uh, also change the, the layout uh, of what you like. Uh, I like the, the old one better, the bigger picture. And then you can choose a, a different screen. So another great feature I use is uh, the Bixby routines. I see this uh, being neglected and rarely used by others. Uh, this is very useful feature for me. Uh, it automates most of my settings when I uh, go out or go get home. So they've added a few actions and uh, additional conditions. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to use it, uh, maybe expand my automation uh, further. So as you can see, it also changed a bit the, the, uh, the feel and uh, the structure uh, really changed. Then for the, the calendar uh, layout, uh, it has been enhanced a bit. Uh, although I can't really see uh, the main the big difference, but uh, there are a couple of uh, fonts, or maybe it's smaller or bigger, uh, but uh, nothing much to to say about it. And the camera, they said the, the, they improved the autofocus and the auto exposure, uh, as well as improved stabili uh, stabilization feature on high levels of zoom, especially if you're uh, uh, shooting the moon. And then they added uh, additional filters. Uh, my filters are already there as well. Uh, that's one of the key features they added. And lastly, the photo editor uh, now has the ability to revert back to your original version. And those are the features that I really appreciate the Samsung uh, putting into One UI 3.0. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, uh, features that I didn't mention. So if you are curious about it, Feel free to put in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.